I want to preface this video by stating that I don't have a dog in this fight. I've never played a game in the Half-Life franchise. Actually, in regards to Valve, I think I've only played one of their games, that being Portal. Uh, but when I look at this story, and stories like this, my circuits sizzle. I will try to keep my profanity at a minimum. So the rumor mill has churned out the possibility that Half-Life 3 will never happen, um, and that Valve has no intention to make it happen. The supposed reasons are as follows. Number one, Valve makes so much money from Steam, uh, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike, and a few of their other multiplayer games that investing in making another one of their own games wouldn't make sense financially. The second is that Valve saw the fan backlash from Mass Effect 3 three years ago, and they figured that no matter what they came out with, they would ultimately not please the fans because of high expectations for the game. Along with this, they don't want to receive death threats and such. The fact that this is even a news story lends credence to the fact that fans will jump on literally any rumor and rip it to shreds, either that or jump on board completely out of desperation at the slightest mention of Half-Life 3 or anything associated with it. The point, however, is that there was a conversation that stirred in a chat with a bunch of enthusiast folks about why this may or may not be true and if, there, if these rumors make sense or not. And I'm saying flat out that it doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. Unless, until they announce something it really doesn't matter. People are nitpicking and looking for vipers in every shadow. It really doesn't matter until Valve actually comes out with something. Look, when Bethesda came out, uh, you know, before E3 2015, um, I had said that uh, they wouldn't be holding a press conference unless they had something to say. And yes, they announced Fallout 4 before E3 2015, but I kind of hinted at the fact that they may be announcing a release date. And sure enough, they announced not only, they, they showed gameplay, they, they showed a bunch of stuff, and not only that, they announced a release date for the game. Um, as well as their Collector's Edition, the Pip-Boy Edition, which totally didn't expect. That was pretty awesome. But along with Bethesda, Valve is another one of those companies that doesn't really address their fans unless they have something to say. Um, so when they come out and say Half-Life 3 is happening or it's not happening, that's when I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm on board with this. Um, and, you know, I can I can move on. But even then, like I said, I have no dog in this fight. I, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Half-Life 3 like, uh, okay, like, okay, so if it comes out, whatever, you know. But yes, it has been built up over years, and it is now legend, um, something that will never come to pass because it's been built up for so long, and there, nothing they can do at this point will really surpass fan expectations, and that is the that's the assumption. So let's look at these, even if they were true, um, in, in terms of Valve not wanting to uh, to make. Half-Life 3. Uh, to the financial aspect, yes, they are making a lot of money from Steam and their multiplayer games, but um, I could totally understand if they didn't want to invest time and energy and money into the project because, well, they're just making too much money off of everything else. Which I would say I would love that kind of money to be able to sit around and relax and just be like, I don't give a fuck. Um, so <laughs> in that, I, you know, I, I can't really fault them. Um, I know that a lot of people are looking forward to, to whatever news might be coming out about this game. It's been years since the rumors have, have churned out um, that, you know, and, and people are really looking forward to anything they can get their hands on in regards to news about development of this game. The second one, however, really lends credence to the fact that the industry still doesn't get it. Bringing Mass Effect 3 into this discussion as to why another game from arguably a better company um, is just flat out ridiculous. I mean, to say that we're so scared 
of not meeting fan expectations that we don't want to make this game at all. I mean, look at what happened to Mass Effect 3. Look, if you're going to be scared out of making a game, even if this isn't true, I, I want to get this out there just because I think that, you know, people who are debating this as a reason for Half-Life 3 not coming out, or any game for that matter, look, Mass Effect 3 is a game. It is a game in and of itself that had a lot of mistakes from the get-go, mostly because not not just because of the ending, uh, you know, and that's why I say people don't get it, um, because it wasn't just the ending that pissed fans off, but if I get into that, it will take a whole other video. However, it, if you're looking at another project going, well, that one failed, so obviously mine will too, um, then you don't really... You, you don't get the point behind creating something of your own. That That's kind of a blanket, uh, absolute statement, which really doesn't have any validity. Um, you know, if you're talking about fan expectations, really, I mean, if Valve is making so much money to where they can afford to kind of sit back and kick their feet up, I don't think they'll be 100% concerned with fan reactions if they do decide to release this game. Um, it's not like they're going to lose money. Steam is still going to power forward, although they are getting kind of cocky. I wish they had some competition right about now. But here's the thing. Fan expectations are built up because of the hype around whatever it is they're looking forward to. Look, the Half-Life 3 rumor-mongering and, and conspiracy theory, you know, calculations and stuff like that. Well, Half-Life 3 must be confirmed because because of this. Let's, let's tone it down a little bit. Um, there's literally thousands of other games you could be enjoying while you wait for Half-Life 3. And when this... And, you know, when, while you're playing these other games, while the hype for Half-Life 3 comes down and it eventually fizzles out, maybe, maybe they'll eventually deign to make it. Who knows? Um, maybe, you know, they're not getting, maybe they'll feel like they're not getting enough attention and want to bring out the game so that Valve can be on top again. Uh, because once that furor dies down and people stop looking forward to something, they're like, well, wait, wait, you know, keep giving us your money. Like, we want you to, we want you to keep buying our stuff. So, well, here, as a sign of good faith, here's, here's a, here's a teaser for what we've been working on and stuff like that. So, those are my thoughts on the Half-Life 3 rumor mongering. What do you guys think? Be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'm the Black Dragon. Take care. I'm sorry. Nope, I'm not even done. I just thought about this. Um, Valve is its own company, right? So is Rockstar, and they make their own games without giving a fuck who, who likes it, who doesn't like it. They make their own games, they know their games make money, they like their games, so why is it that Valve is having such trouble if this rumor is true? And just to the people that are believing it, I mean, they are their own company, they're gonna do what they wanna do with the money that they've made over the, over the years, um... But I just want to point to Rockstar and just be like, well, you know, they're like the bad boys of the gaming industry. You know, they do what they want and they make the games that they want. They take the time to do that. So why should it be any different for Valve? Hmm.